lunch one day in Charlotte Street and he said I'm just going to drop into this animation company called TBC for a minute, would you come in with me? So we went in and the producer there, John Coates, to whom I was introduced, said, he said, you, you write film music, don't you? So I said, yes, I do. He said, we, we've got a little idea for a film called The Snowman and we put some rough music on it and I don't think it's right. We, have you got a moment? Would you have a look at it? So I said, yes, I'd love to see it. So he put it on and the music was, um, it was sort of, I don't know, electronic. It was, it was not that great. Mm -hmm. And I said, just tur turn, just turn the music. Let me just have a look at it. And I saw this pencil sketch, eight minutes of pencil sketch, and I thought, that's just marvelous. And I thought that that moment where they got the boy flying with the snowman. I, I, I had actually had this tune in my head for, for some years and I'd never, I never really know what to do with it. And I thought that tune, walking in there, that would, it would work wonderfully with that. So I said to John, look, I'd love to do this if, we, if with no dialogue. If I could write music and we could make a film with no dialogue where the music carries the action. So John said, well, I think we, we would need dialogue. I said, well, could I just do a little demo and show you what I mean? Because I think it would work. So a few days later, I went into a, a recording studio, Advision Recording Studio, and I recorded on piano this eight minutes, including Walking in the Air. And John took it round to Channel 4, which had just opened that week, believe it or not, which was October 1981. And Jeremy Isaacs at Channel 4, he said, this is a brilliant idea, and uh, I think we'd like to make this. And it was almost the first film that Channel 4 ever made, and perhaps the most successful. Uh, so, <clears throat> we, we, we started working seriously on it the following year, 82, and Diane Jackson and a whole team of people developed it and started drawing it, uh, full animation, you know, which makes hundreds, of, hundreds and hundreds of drawings. And uh, I, meanwhile, once we got that as, as, a, as a cartoon book, which we call uh, an animatic, you film that book and you can see just still pictures like a cartoon. And we timed that out and I wrote the complete 26 minutes to timings, which is an unusual way of, of doing it. But of course, it did mean that it was the f the music and the, and the image were absolutely melded together. So once I'd done that, I recorded that on piano, and then all the an all the animators had that, and they could an they could animate exactly all the actions to it. So really, that's that's how the film was born. Uh, later on. When we finished it, I, I added the song on afterwards and, and found and found a, a boy, in fact, from a, a chorister from St Paul's Cathedral, whose name was Peter Orty, mm -hmm. not Ali Jones, as most people think. Peter Orty recorded it, and uh, the film was eventually finished later that year and came out and was shown on Channel 4. I think it was Christmas Eve. 1982.